Hello guys, welcome to another live cast game. I started a little bit late, 30 seconds late. Oh, this sucks. But we got another live cast. It's relatively average skill here. You know, some low, some high. Uh, mostly in the middle. Uh, we are on Hella's Basin. And I saw that people were starting in my favorite spot here. I, was, I just wanted to point it out. I love spot starting right here because it's easier to walk this way. Um, this guy started here, and I believe I missed this, but he has to... Uh, walk around like this when you start up here. You want to start as close to this, like, like uh, the edge of this line here, because you can't actually traverse this, so he probably lost some walking time there. Uh, I, <laughs> I would bet that this guy is going to win the water, because he's in the water first. Like, it really matters in the, um, this spot to get to water first. Like, you can't really start building your power and stuff until you're in the water. Uh, you're not going to build windmills here. Like, you want to get into the water as fast as possible. The water is more efficient for power anyways. And I do recommend what <laughs> uh, Shinobi, Shino, Shinobi, Shinobi, I don't know. This is why I don't say names, Fields, because I can't, I don't know how you want them to be pronounced a lot of the times. <laughs> but honestly, this is I, like really close to what I do. Um, I take the Mexes up here because if this guy doesn't and he just moves this way and then I come up and deny him, like he loses. Uh, that's just how it works. So it's very interesting that he's going back to uh, expand onto these. I, it, this actually might be better than what I do, actually, because he gets the Engineer out, and then he gets the Maxes. I don't know. I usually take all three, and then I, I take one, and then I build. I don't know if that's actually better, though. We'll have to see how this works. Um, we have three Frontliners, three Frontliners, one Water up here, one Water up there, and two Backliners, you know, the classic two Backliners. So we got Air Factory, Bot Lab, Navy, Naval Yard, uh, Shipyard, I guess it's called. Bot lab on the water side, interesting. Uh, you know, we saw the navy here. We got vehicles, bots, and bots. Over here, we have bots, vehicles, and vehicles. We have a naval shipyard here. We got bots and eco, or air and eco. And over here, we got air here. Interesting that the top sides are doing some weird stuff here. I believe we heard first blood or something. Something that was happening here. Uh, something happened here. Yeah, mechs goes down. This is what you should do. Yeah, I did. this is a check mark right here. You gotta put your light laser turret right behind the commander. This guy did it too. Perfect moves from both sides here. This is so even. It's gonna... They're both gonna die, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, w for the top side, though. They got a res bot on the front line. Oh, that is... That is... <laughs> 3,000 metal, almost. Uh, they got... They got... They got some tanks, but they, the ally has some tanks. They, I would focus fire with that. That is way too important. Oh, that is not good for the bottom team, guys. Top side is getting literally 3,000 metal at the start. Three minutes in, and you get 3,000 metal. Okay, let's see the incomes here. We got 16 over here, and what is over here? I think it's still even. Dude might have produced 20. I think I think this um this is overkill. You don't have the metal for this. You need new units right away. Okay, as long as... Oh, I think he overproduced that. He definitely overproduced workers, I think. I'm <laughs> nitpicking on him. <laughs> this guy was slow, but he's he's doing it okay. He, he sure does need to get these mexes up here, though. Uh, and micro his units. Water over here. Blue is the high skill over here. Blue is red. Also... Actually, he's on Eco, so not the same lane. They're still fighting over it. That that guy's going down. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, little ship. Taken out by the hovercraft. Or light speedboats, or whatever they are. Not hovercraft. Alright. I mean... On water... I mean, water is the same principles as land. If you just run by and just snipe these, like, it's GG, man. Like... It, that's why you want to keep your commander close to your like uh, your generators and stuff. What is this? Oh my god. Okay, it's not the same player. I'm just colorblind, guys. These colors look really similar. Uh, this is why you go hover up here usually. That you can actually like go up to here, and then if you need to, you can come back down and help like that. Usually, hovercraft is best like that. It's like the one time hovercraft actually matters, <laughs> actually works there, or is the best choice. Uh, I think this is just the W for uh, Teal here. He just got units onto the the base. Like this power is so exposed, it's so it's so over over here. Yeah, I had a feeling he would win because he put his commander right in the correct spot too. 
dude the power power is down like dude his production is going to be like in tatters he still has a lot i mean if he produces units non-stop he might win or stand a good chance but i think in the long run blue here or teal here just gets out of control on the water and he wins the top pond here on the bottom side we got missile corvette i think that's a cortex uh i think that's a cortex thing right yeah, it's a court no it's an armada thing yeah it's a modern thing i just don't build these that often i don't i don't remember that yeah there's a there's a missile corvette okay i mean i'm just interested in top side so much here in the middle though it's it's looking pretty chill actually all things considered i've seen way more active front lines before it still looks also pretty even over there. It's the water that's kind of interesting right now because I feel like it go, like, com total. Um, it's like a winner takes all in the water usually. Dude needs to make units nonstop, and he needs those. Yeah, he's got a resurrection sub. I would, I would fight over this so much. Like that is metal. That is metal. One thousand metal in the water. I don't know if he reclaimed the ships that broke uh, broke down over here. That could be bad for Teal. I feel like I feel like. If, since he took out that power, he should be able to win water. Look, he's so hungry on power over here. Because he, he lost those, like, five power uh, generators over there. He's he's going to be behind. I would just focus on pushing him completely out of water. Get these wrecks here and just, like, win water. GG, you can just start going to uh, uh, ocean generators, like, over here or something. Or even back here. Like, it's hard for the midlines to deal with water once you've won over there. For some reason, I feel like bottom water always ends up stalemating i don't know why dude these missile corvettes outrange the offshore torpedoes that is crazy that is good to know that is good to know though that is really good to know bro that is that is really really good to know i was like why would you build these like i feel like all the cruisers are like or destroyers are just better you just run them in <laughs> they can deal with uh subs as well submarines yeah this destroyer can deal with the submarine you can see that little uh torpedo or whatever is is launching at them and it fires when moving too so it's just like rip to rip submarines the submarines are the counters to uh dolphins the dolphin spam yeah the classic uh where is it is he on t no wait why do i feel like this is am i blind no this has to be cortex what's going on here why is there no dolphin? <laughs> this has to be Cortex, actually. He somehow got that. I, I, I don't know, man. I'm so confused. I thought... Cor I, I'm pretty sure Armada has access to dolphins, but why don't I see it? Where's my dolphins, guys? Did something change? <laughs> well, it looks like Blue One Water, though. Those missile corvettes really destroyed that torpedo area, and now that it's 3,000 metal on his doorstep, he's going to have a resurrection sub right on its way. Yep. Absolutely. Blue's on point. Um, metal over here is not looking good for top side. Yeah, not looking good for top side. And over here, yes, Teal has finally uh, uh, completed my predictions here, and he is one top water here. So, all things considered, really bad looking for the top side here. But, you know, Red is still on the eco position. He could, he's their best player. He could make a game winning play from up there. Um,. I don't know, egos are looking, or backlines are looking pretty, pretty normal, you know. He's getting hounds for the front line here. On this side, I think he might be thinking something similar here. No, oh, no, actually he's, um, what do you call it? He's, he's reclaiming it. I think he's going to eco up here, so this might be really bad for the top side in the long run. Blue? Uh, I guess he's stalling because he needs to get these, bo this body is right, uh, before he, uh, moves up. Battle paused. That's a good call, honestly. I, I, if I was so great, um, when I play here, I'm it, when I win an engagement like that, and I have an army this big, I'd be kind of greedy and like push my advantage. But I think that'd be the wrong choice. I think that's I think what he's doing is correct. Actually, is to hold back, get an even bigger army based on your three thousand metal here, and and just crush, crush a bottom water. This I am so happy for Teal because I thought he would win top water, and he did. <laughs> How much power did he go? Uh, is it 5 plus 1? I, I gotta remember this play here, because, like, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, all things considered. All things considered, that was pretty good. 
pretty good. I think this player also misplayed by building his power in the back, moving his army over here, not 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 stopping them from getting onto your base. That's also a huge problem. Oh, all right, we got a game pause, man. We got players dropping out, one on each team. Bottom side is in a good position. Actually, I didn't even notice this um, because this guy didn't go hover. He didn't contest this area at all, and so I uh, Orange just walked this commander over and took everything. <laughs> He's just got these islands for free. He's even got these coastal defenses here, some light defenses here. Wait, actually, I think I missed this. I definitely missed this. There was a command commander fight here. Something happened. I missed that. Something happened. Maybe he sniped like the air transport. That could happen because there. I see the anti airs here. I don't know who got the kill though. You would see what like one kill on this, but I don't see that. That's oh oh yeah I see what happened the fighter got the kill fighter got kill on the air transport commander died he gets the body for free that's so that's the one win on the top side so far oh my god he even wait you can build that from there I didn't know that that's crazy there's always some like so many little things that you don't know about of course frigates cannot hit nexus so he's bringing his destroyers yep. Top water, that's how you win top water, boys. Obviously, correct call. I don't think you need to build three of them, although he's expanding his production of engineers, so okay. Okay, okay. Blue, blue, blue. Blue's, blue's a decent skilled player. So is red here. Uh, yeah, T2 Geo here. Uh, he's getting units out still. I, I think it's still like, there's a lot of wins, like early game wins here for bottom team, but you know, it's still anyone's game, all things considered. Like, I don't know how it's gonna play out exactly. I need help with E, says Blue. Okay. Uh, energy. I think it's just because it's all low wind right now. <laughs> He's getting so much help though from his, uh, from his team. I think he, yeah, I think he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Blue. Ground's got to be reeling from that early game fight, though. I mean, Blue has not expanded his uh, army just yet. He's still taking advantage of the bodies, mostly. Like, it's it's mostly in his bank still. So he's not... He technically doesn't have the bigger army, I think. 6,000 over here, which is 5,000 over here. Like, yeah. I'm looking at the mass count. 7,000 army value up here. 5,000 army value down here. Um, he needs... Like, that difference is right in his bank here. Blue, uh, Brown spent his entire time just producing units, so that's that's probably why. Whereas he uh, built a couple of resurrection subs, a couple of engineers, and that's gonna cost you. He needs to catch up with his um, unit production here before you can actually win Wanderer again. I feel like if he just spammed units, he, he, he mm, it's hard to say. Like if he just did one, I mean, like it's good to have the production. It's really good in the long run to have the production. Um, I don't know. It's it's just it's a decision matrix thing. It's like he it's a, it's it's like a risk of how you want it to pay off. Red is making inroads here. I feel like with his hounds, he's microing it nonstop. Um, the units here are looking kind of sparse. It's mostly T one still. I, things could change for the top side. Things could definitely change for the top side. I would expect this guy to be ecoing. Yep. Yes, sir. He's getting power. Yep. Yes, sir. Alright, Blue's feeling confident to move out. He's got 750 army value. Wait a second. Wait a second, guys. Red is uh, helping his ally here with platypuses. Platypus. <laughs> I almost said something funny. Platypi. There we go. We got a bunch of platypi plus oppressors here. He needs to focus on army production. Um, I think he needs a lot of destroyers right now. I mean, frigates, frigates will also work. Blue's playing correctly here. I don't know if he spotted the red units here, but he is losing ground, but he does need the decisive like army value to, before he can take the engagements. I think he should go now because his bank is spent. He should fight them now. And hopefully before the platypuses get here. Like, I don't know, guys. This is looking really dicey for Blue, actually. Because these platypuses could, um, platypi, could go like this. Brown goes like this. Blue fights over here. Yeah, like, this, this looks like this is going to happen here. The top team might be planning it. I don't know if it's conscious or unconscious, but that could be happening. Red might be distracted over here, so so I don't know what Red's going to do with these platypi. Platy I, I, 
Oh no. Mm. He's he's looking for it. I think he's looking for it. Blue blue sniffing it out, I think. I don't know if he has radar on it. He doesn't have radar on it. He he's just lucky with it, dude. I think he's just lucky. How does he know? He just knows, dude. No, he sees it now. He sees it now. So he's he's gonna he he knows. He pings he pings it out. His allies are in danger though, because we gotta push up here, we gotta push down here, and we gotta push over here. This is looking really dicey for for the bottom team now. I mean this is a good turnabout turnaround. Green is on um going to the moon, so uh, you know this 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 turnabout from the top scene needs to get damage in for this to be like still a neutral game. I feel like Blue Blue's playing this right, he's moving his army back, he's getting a defensible position. Platypuses are gonna go <laughs> Plot of high are gonna go up here. Uh, Frontline fusion in danger. Bases in danger, guys. Plot, plot of pie are making landfall. Uh, they have little laser turrets and and they're hitting. Oh, we're getting damage. Bottom team is having morale issues. They're taking damage. Guys, they have you have complete like you have pretty much comp oh my god the the, the mouse you pretty much have complete top water control. You just need a hold down here. Oh my god, you need units right now. You need units right now. <laughs> get, 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 get those engineers on that factory. You need units right now. These things are way too slow. You need sprinters. These are good, but you need they needed to be in position, in a line before this happens. You need sprinters. This might be enough. It might be enough. It might be enough. Dude, it's so close. Ah, oh, bad micro from Red. He's... He's split. He's split on multiple fronts. I don't think he's gonna get... He's getting the, the, the production. Okay, he's getting some of it. He got some damage. I, that, I don't think that's enough, though. Um, he needs to take that out. <laughs> like, it, as long as this, this is up. As long as that is up. I think bottom team should be... Okay. Never mind, then. Okay, never mind, then. <laughs> bottom team is in a dicer spot than I anticipated. Sheldons are stacking up too much. Fusion's in danger. Dogs are gonna click on it real soon. Dude, you gotta click on it. Or, or press Y for the set target command and target that. Yep, set set target. You see that line? That's a set target right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect from Red. He's making all the plays. And I think that Fusion's down. Yeah, Fusion's down. Oh man, guys, that is some turnabout. This feels real bad if you're if you're teal here because you won water, you did your job, and you just need some time before you can come back to land, you know. But your team just dies before that, you know. It's really sad. Blue actually survived though. Um, what's his eco at? I think it's uh, he's rather uh, reclaiming stuff, so it's gonna be hard to tell what he's at. Um, Red's going through the moon now. His units did so much damage, and they're still doing more damage. Teal's surviving as well. That is weird that he has two mass storages, but he might have needed it. I mean, I build that sometimes. Ah, this is this is so dicey. It's such a dicey game. I feel like Blue. I mean, he he took another defensive fight there, so I feel like Blue. He's got six thousand metal in the bank. He just needs some more production so he can get a huge army out. I think in a couple minutes, if Red doesn't do anything, Blue will win water once more. This is what, 9,000 army value, 5,000 over here, 4,000 over here, but I mean, there's more units over here, so blue has the army advantage. I think he will win water just a little bit more time as long as red doesn't meddle in his affairs again. Uh, Teal is now covering frontline a little bit. He's 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 applying pressure like up here with his fleet and uh, his amphibious units. Dude, we learned in the 1v1 that these things are EMP immune. <laughs> these are salamanders, it's crazy, dude. But they're still only about as good as T1 tanks. Maybe a little better. Forget if they're T2. I think they're T1. I forget if they're T1 or T2. Is this T1 or T2? It's an amphibious, so it's, it's weird. <laughs> it's like T1.1. 1.2. Wait, is this another platypus run? No, it's a salamander run. Ah, man, I haven't seen so many more. This is crazy. We see so many salamanders this time. Blue's in trouble. Uh, you need units right now. No, you don't need subs. These things can just get onto the land. Yeah, they're cute for the land too. You don't need subs. You need you need destroyers.
Okay, well, it forces them out of the water, right into where you can't shoot them. This is dangerous. These guys are... Actually, they're, they're not focusing on blue. They're kind of moving this way instead. They're getting the some of the power, but I think blue, most of blue's income is over here. Down here. Oh, th these guys, this guy's migrating perfectly. He saw the units. I like I talk about this all the time in like my first videos. If you see enemy units, when you're doing a run-by, you just run away from them. Exactly like this. He gets so much damage on blue now. He actually destroys the rest of blue's income. This is like a devastating run. Oh my god, top team, man. Top team is making the comebacks. This is some comeback gaming right now. How is green not rebuilt yet? Oh my god. This is this is this is so rough. Resurrection subs, more power. Resurrection subs, more power, more units. Resurrection subs, more power, more units. More builders. He's got a lot of engineers. That's good though. He he should take this fight. I would take this fight. I think you have more units. Yeah, five thousand almost. Five thousand almost. Uh, well, 4,000, 5,000 more mass in your navy. I think you take this fight. You have a better surround on them, too. I think you just fight them, maybe. Bait them in a little bit and fight them. Oh, my God. If you're blue, you must be feeling real bad, man. Everyone's just bullying you. <laughs> Although your team is dead in the front. This re It's funny. This this player that normally goes top water has to uh, pivot to here. And this player is now playing both sides. This sucks, though. When you're Actually, he took, a, he took down a part of a base down here but um unfortunately these things are going to take him out you got this little bandit gremlin like in your corner here like it sucks man you... <laughs> oh this this is a crazy game crazy game every game i watch is crazy but this one too is also crazy <laughs> i've been like saying words not oh my god green you got units you need units to defend you need something oh my i think that's game that's so game he, he sees it. He, you just you just gotta press Y, set target on the advanced fusion. Bro, green. Oh, that feels bad, man. Red is gonna get out of control. Yeah, he's out of control now. That's your ego player. That's your that's your that's your highest income right there, and it's going down. Uh, he didn't focus it. It's just like he didn't focus it. Okay, okay. His projection's down, but that thing is still working for his team. You didn't focus it. Okay, you run like this, you focus it. Now he's not microing it. I don't think he knows the uh, set target command. Is it Y? Maybe it's Alt Y. I think he's projecting it. Yeah. Green survives with his uh, factory that's giving him income for the entire team. He's not using it, but his team is. Hopefully. Oh, I don't think they are actually. I think they're flooding power. They have no converters, so it's actually not useful. This is real bad for the bottom team. Oh my god, guys. Like, that, that three-pronged assault here, like here, here, and here, is just devastating. That was just so devastating. Unfortunately, because you don't... This is one of the lessons I, I learned as well when I, I played against Winter <laughs> Winter Gaming, is you don't leave your, your, your um, lane opponent alive like this. He just becomes a thorn in your side. You just can't end up helping the other lanes, and... Dealing with your little gremlin at the same time. You have to deal with your lane before you help others. <sighs> a lot of pings going out here. I see some... Uh... Ah! What's going on here? I think Blue did a run by here. Ah, this, this sucks. Sucks for Blue. I, I was rooting for bottom team kind of so much. Like, I really wanted them to win. Because I saw this guy played water so well. He's taking out the, the navy here. He needs resurrection subs. He's got some engineers out, so... But I think he wins this fight. I think he has the, the bigger army here. Oh, this sucks. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't even the same player. This is the other... This is the other guy. This is the land guy. That's That shouldn't be in the water anymore. He should be... Yeah, I think that's game guy. I just I just looked at this. Oh, it's over. It's over, unfortunately. Oh, this sucks, man. I think both water players played so well. But this collapsed. And, and this guy had no units. And I don't know what the air did, but, you know... My attention can't go everywhere. Oh, that's so that sucks so bad for them. But top team played so well. Like they they took the beating in all the pawns, and they still came back. Right? It's crazy, man. Red played well. Brown didn't die. Orange is a ground, uh, little goblin that pecked at uh, teal here. That's exactly what you can do. You can just be like a as annoying as possible. So he survived and did that. Um, and these guys, I'm guessing they also survived and pushed in with the, uh, red here, so 
top team played well, bottom team played well. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kind of crazy that that happened. I, I, I really thought bottom team would win, but it was just like, they needed, uh, Teal needed more time before you could start to pivot to other waters or other areas. And he needed to take care of this. I think red played too well, probably. If the uh, platypi plata didn't come here, the units could have probably held there, maybe lost there, but blue would have held here and then he would have won water for sure. All right, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for watching another live cast video and goodbye.